I thought of something weird today, gamers. Um, you know, getting tickled, you know that? Um, it, it's kind of a weird feeling, isn't it? Because it's like, it's fun. It is fun to get tickled, at least for most people. But you also don't want it to happen. Like, while it's happening, all you can do is try to get it to stop. Isn't that weird? I think that's weird. Anyway, uh, welcome back to Minecraft. Uh, you may have seen the title of this video, and we're a bit confused. Ashwagandha, I think I think that's how it's pronounced, is uh, some 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 kind of root. Um, Ashwagandha to me is a server that some friends of mine and myself were a part of. That um, it, it was a couple of years ago, and I thought that the world backup that I made back when the server closed uh, didn't work. I thought that it just failed and the world was lost forever. Uh, left just to be a part of our memories, you know, Memento Mori and uh, all that stuff. But no, it turns out I was I was just kind of a dumbo and didn't load it properly. And there it is, world, Oshawa. So this is uh this is the world, and I just wanted to give it a little explore, and maybe just uh, go over my kind of story of how the how the server went from my perspective. I've only uh, opened up the world just to like make sure that it would actually open, but I have not looked around, and I'm, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm expecting to be surprised by a few things and that maybe that I forgot about, and uh, because there was a bunch of a bunch of people on the server, there's probably some stuff that I didn't actually know got built, and I don't know if there's going to be like any sensitive information, but if there is, I'll just cover it up in editing. All right, I think I think it's time I. I go into this. Okay. What's the FOV? That's 90, okay. <sighs> so, here's my bed. This is where I slept, usually. When I last left off the world, I thought that I was putting my character to rest forever because we had like a celebration at the end of the server's life. But now one more adventure. Oh, I actually had shulker boxes. <laughs> I'll get to that. Um, I, I didn't think I actually had any of these. I, I don't really remember like in terms of game progression where I was. I didn't have netherite. Wow. I was real mature, wasn't I? Uh, oh geez, no pants. <laughs> So I have speed and jump boost at all times. So this, yep, this is my bakery. And I would, oh, that's why the FOV looks weird. I'll, I'll zoom it in just a little bit so that the speed doesn't look too bad. So I would uh, give people bread and cake here. And I had a cow that I would use to get milk to make the cakes. And, uh, so yeah, we had a Discord server, so uh, if anyone needed service, they would just call for me there. Aww. Oh. Sorry, I'm just taking it in for a second. Old Pickles Bake Shop. That's me. I'm Old Pickle. Very old. I don't remember these dogs. I don't think I ever did anything. I'd sometimes put cake here, and it was just kind of free for people to eat. Food wasn't really a problem. Survival wasn't a problem for people here. It was more just about socializing. At least that's what I thought it was. Um, so I remember building this. This was, I built this near the end of the server's life. Uh, it was, it was gonna be like um illegal dealing area. Bu yeah, building material dealing center where. It, like, it, it was supposed to be just like themed around being this underground thing, but it was just building materials. So like if you just needed a bunch of dirt or something. Unfortunately, that never ended up becoming much of anything because it didn't survive for very long before the server was taken down. I think we only ever had like one customer. So, um, 
The Magic Well. I don't know. I guess maybe I should start with like the story of the how the server got started. So there were four of us at the start, and the original spawn point was like I think it was in that direction, over to uh, its settings to the west over there. And then uh, we didn't like where we spawned, so we just ran from far away over here. And this was not a magic well. You can also see by the illegal bed 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 bedrock. This was all in survival, by the way, so yeah, this bedrock should not be here. Um, we all came here, and the first structure I think that was built was like a dirt castle. And it was right here where the magic well is. That struck... Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, I was not expecting to just see the... Whatever you call that in the distance. Anyway, this was just, I think, the castle of Duart, which is what we called it. Sorry, I had an inch. Uh, was the first structure and this this was pretty much just, uh where we all started in need of food oh yeah this is an advertisement uh the smoking eggleston lake missed opportunity to put actual campfires under there so that it would have smoke coming out i blame myself for that because i think i'm the one that built the dock over here We have some animals here. Whether or not there were living animals in this pen, I know fluctuated a lot, because they kept getting blown up. Either by a creeper or a TNT, I remember. I do not know what this is. Oh, there's a barrier? Man, good thing there was a barrier protecting that chest. A lot of valuable resources there. Weird. I have no idea what this is. Look, someone just... Is this just someone's survival base? Wait. These chests are strangely similar in their loot. I think I might just be looking at the chest plate, though. Yeah, that, that's not the same. I mean, they have redstone repeaters in here. What is down here? Okay, massive hole. I'm, is the brightness all the way up? I want to make sure. It is. I'm, I'm going to give myself... Oh, I have to open to land. Uh, slash effect. Give, give me night vision. Oh, I know whose base this was. Okay, so this is much later in the server's life. It started out as a very vanilla survival experience. But eventually, I think people just got bored, or some of us got bored, and so one, one of us, who knows a lot about commands, uh, tried putting custom enchants into the game. I don't know if this is the custom enchant stuff, admin book. Yeah, there he is. Uh, Brandonowitz. Medieval district. Teleportation have locked. Locked. Oh! Wait a minute. No, this is not the custom enchant stuff. Okay. Yeah, there were, there were a lot of phases. There's a lot of stuff for me to go over. But this... This is for later, but I'll keep them in my hotbar because they're going to be helpful later. I wonder what these are. His third thumb. Yeah, we, we, we named a lot of weapons after um, genitalia. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so I guess... I guess I'll just leave this area. <laughs> I don't know why he put this tunnel here. I don't even know if he did. I don't know if it was someone else breaking in. I know I know something like that happened at one point. I don't remember a lot of the details, though. So I guess that was that. This is all much later, though, in the server's life. I know that this wall right here, the Bounty Collection Agency, I think, 
Yeah. Uh, you just put a sign here with something that you want, like a area of land cleared and a payment, and then uh, looks like Rocky <laughs> really wanted to be a go-getter. Get the ten diamonds here. So I, I don't know. Did Rocky have to get looting two and fortune two books or something? I don't I don't know how the business here worked. Low pay but benefits health care and food. I don't know how health care is going to be simulated in this, but uh, there you go. I'm so glad this server is not dead. Or like the world isn't dead. The server's dead, but the, I'm so glad that the world isn't gone forever because there's so much here. So much effort. Oh. Got a little mine shaft here. Don't think anything interesting, though, built by someone. Let's just get out of here. What's up here? Oh, this is Austin's house. I remember this. Yeah. Uh, Isis built that. Isis is a person, by the way. We're not making jokes about a terrorist organization. Kiani's house. I don't... Who was Kiani? Wow, they were stacked, though. <laughs> oh, you know what this was? Okay, I'll get to that later, too. There's a barrier over this chest. Why? Why was there a barrier over that? Oh, I think I know. Okay, so also later on in the server's life, we tried to do like a little mini Hunger Games thing, and I think we just barriered over all like the chests that are normally there. And I guess we just missed deleting the barriers over that one, because I don't think Kiani played that much. I don't remember. I don't remember them. This is Isis Ziz's house. Great chests. Yep. The Watchtower. That was also pretty early. Uh, I think... Yeah, that was Rocky. Rocky did this. Pretty sick looking Watchtower. And eventually we added... This water elevator here. It goes down to something kind of cool. So, um... After the four of us got settled when we first started the server. Eventually other people started showing up. Oh, you have to crouch. Sorry, you have to bow to get up here to the top. And so the four of us had seats at the top of this watchtower. I don't know why the top block was taken off of this one. But we all had seats at the top of this watchtower. And anytime some big... <laughs> I remember that. Anytime some big decision had to be made... Uh, we would come up here and talk about it. And that was like, we were the council members, I think, is what we called ourselves. You know, in retrospect, maybe we shouldn't have done that. It might have made other people feel excluded. We didn't, we didn't, like, make any big decisions that affected other people, I don't think. I think it was just, like, us having fun, but... Giving us the title of council members might give us a bit of a superiority complex. I don't remember a lot of what happened, but I, I remember there might have been some tension about that kind of thing. Oh, here's a map. Oh, El Mapo. That's right. There's the thing. And there's a... Oh, this. Oh, this. Okay, so after Rocky built the watchtower, uh, in the Weeaboo Valley of the Damned, I don't know why we called it that, but this is what we called this big flat area. Rocky wanted to build this. It was a, a survival base for all four of us. Unfortunately, it was never used. I don't think it was ever used for anything. Which really sucks, because it's a really cool base, and it took a lot of wood. We all 
work together, I think, to gather all the wood up. And then it never ended up being anything. But you know what? It still looks really cool. And in Minecraft, that's the highest honor that a building could ever get. And um, from from here, in the server's history, thing the timeline gets a bit foggy for me. I think this is when, like during the construction of this, was when a bunch of other people joined. So a lot of stuff started getting built at the same time. Oh, the Cave of Combat. I made this misspelled cave on purpose at least i for a while this was under construction and then i just didn't spend a lot of time working on it oh this is a hunger games shulker box all the brown shulker boxes were the ones made for the hunger games thing we never got rid of that one but i made like a little combat arena it got used a couple times i think but yeah this is just a little area for pvp this is where i could sit and do the Whatever the gladiator thumbs up, thumbs down thing is, I never really, I never learned what that ever meant. But, um, that's where I would sit and watch the fights take place. And this is where the rich people who paid to watch the game would, would come through. No one ever actually paid, by the way. I've just let them through, I think. That was my idea, though, was it was going to be like a, my means of income would be combat, like spectator combat sports. There wasn't much of a uh, audience for that, unfortunately. I don't know what this is. Once again, I'm going in blind. Amazing. I, well, I mean, something was probably going to be built here at some point. I don't know whose this was. Uh-oh. My jump boost is making this difficult. Wait, how do I do this? I don't know how I'm supposed to get up through here. You know what? Whatever, man. I'll just cheat more than I already am. Uh, I need to give it to myself. Creative. Okay. I don't want to touch anything. I, I like having this just be like a static time capsule, so I'm not going to break anything if I don't absolutely have to. There's a bee farm up here. I think this was made by Maddie. Not sure though. The other one of the four. So, um, yeah, at this point I'm just kind of going to lazily move around and see what I find. My, I, I built that wheat farm. My plan was to just cover the entire server in wheat. But then I realized that was really hard. Well, not hard, but very time-consuming, and I gave up real early. But that ended up being just, like, a good food source for people just starting out. So I guess it was worth it. I also made the giant dirt castle over there, as well as the monstrosity behind it. But we'll, we'll get to that later. This mansion here... Uh, this was also made by... Brandon or Brandonowitz. Okay, so this, this right here. Actually, I'll, I'll get to this right now. Owl's eyes? I'm giving you owl one, death, lightning sword. Those are all the custom enchants I was talking about earlier. And they did many different things. Some of which were very destructive. Do all these barrels have stuff in them? How did he organize all this? Oh, that's a good barrel. 
Okay, it looks like most of them are empty, though. There's a lot of storage here, though. If you needed to store something and have it be hidden, just put it in one of those barrels. No one's ever going to find it. Another exit. And another big room. Just kind of serves to be a big room. Well, I, I guess that's the end of this. I don't want to just spend too much time looking through chests and stuff. I want to find the cool builds. I'll just fly over. So, I guess I'll, I'll just I'll address the castle here. Nothing in there. So, I don't know why I built this. But I did, and it was all in survival. I swear, it was all in survival. There's a giant maze. Not actually all that big. <laughs> it's actually very small. I'll just skip to this. Welcome to the strictly Mormon church of Zack. <laughs> Zack was our pope. I think he was the fifth player. I think he was the fifth player to join, so he got another cool title that was just like slightly beneath the council members of course and this is a giant pixel art thing I made of Zack you know and I'm probably not gonna show that in the uh, appears pure dirt that is the ultimate prize for completing the maze I made that in the giant pixel art in creative mode because I'm not a masochist But uh, yeah, that, because that's literally someone's face, I'm probably going to cover that up in editing. But it's... <laughs> Again, I don't know why I made it, but I did. And I liked having just like a, a blight upon the land that could be seen from pretty much everywhere around here. Oh, yep, that's a lot of lag coming in. So... This road was made by Zack, I remember that. And this heart, don't know. Oh, that yeah, Maddie, uh, Artsy Dodge, that was her name. In game. This was made by Owen, I remember, and I think this was actually mine. Yeah, it's it's, it's completely empty, so I, that's how I know it was made by me. But uh, Owen made a really cool little hobbit hole. It's a book and quill from from Dylan. Yep, that's from me. This is a nice little spot. Moving over here, we have a giant farm. I don't know who made this, unfortunately. Was it Zach? I don't, I don't want to miscredit anyone, so I'm just going to say I don't remember exactly who made most of the stuff over here. I didn't come here very much. So 32 wheat for 6 iron, 64 wheat for 10 iron, 32 carrots, potatoes, custom orders. What would what would be a custom order? Berries? Bee potatoes. Oh, baked. Okay. This is a pawn shop. I forgot execution. <laughs> Employees and residents only, so everyone? What? Owner only. I'm breaking the rules. Yeah. Owner only cooked chicken. I guess this was somebody's house and they just, like, had it be like a pawn shop? That's cool. Oh, I don't want to look at that much. I'm going to have to edit out the face a bunch. Okay, here's... We never uncovered their barrier blocks, which tells me that this is made by one of the people who left pretty early, because otherwise they would have like yelled at us to break all the barriers. Tavern's Brawl. Main currency iron. Others may be negotiated. Oh, that's nice of them. 
Ah, so this is where you get a bunch of potions. This is a potion shop. Ask for a price of poison. <laughs> Wait, why, why is every other price listed, but poison you have to ask? That's suspicious. Also, why is it in dollars? Oh, like you trade food in for dollars? It's an interesting system. This is a very narrow hallway. The growing room? Ah. I see. Employees only. Dang. Good thing only the employees have access to this room. If any random civilian could just come in here, like the server would have ended right then and there, honestly. I don't know what's down here. Just a bunch of melons. Guess that's useful for whatever gliss whatever type of potion glistening melons make. Okay, so this all hooks back up into uh, someone's house. Someone's actual house. Oh, this person's house. Wait, is this a different... I think this might be a different house? Wait, what? I'm very confused. I want to go down, please. Help. Yeah, this is a different building than the one I saw earlier. Maybe it was made by the same person, and that's why they have... Yeah, so these these buildings right here are connected underground. Okay, this place I know was made by Zack. I'm pretty sure there's like a underground base somewhere around here. Was it inside here? No. I, I remember, there it is. I was, I was remembering the glass floor. Or the glass ceiling, I guess. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stop searching through chests unless I think it's really important, because there's obviously just gonna be like random survival stuff. Whoa. Good thing I opened up this chest. This one's interesting. Okay, just a random book with nothing in it. House ownership. Humble abode, Isis, wide, Maddie, and Rocky, taverns, brawl, Rocky. Oh, this is telling us who owns everything. Humble abode is Isis. I don't know what humble abode is. Wide is Maddie and Rocky. Don't know what wide is, but taverns, brawl, at least that actually has a name. So that was Rocky that made that. Okay. This transaction log. Okay, looks like they're just keeping track of transactions. That is what a transaction log would be, I guess. This place. Who owned this place? Ooh. Maybe Rocky because of all the potions? Looks like a bed was supposed to be here, but I wonder why it's not. Is there anything under here? I don't think so, I think. Maybe that's like a toilet or something? I don't know. Wait, is this still the Zack building? I think it might be. So why, why did Zack have a bunch of potions? Did he buy a bunch? I guess I'm, I'm asking all these questions to no one. Probably will never get the answer. Nope. Don't want to censor that too much. That's a lot of work. Oh, this is the White House. Well, their names are right there in front of it. Ah, okay. So this is the the second house, the one that connects to tra Taverns Brawl. So we have. Lots of honey bottles. Is this like a bee farm or something? Looks like it's not working. 
the minecart's supposed to be moving. Ozzy's. I don't remember who Ozzy was. Looks like nothing there, I guess. Okay, looks like a. Yeah, the whip work in progress on the sign is accurate. Don't know when they built this. I keep accidentally looking at it. The world tree. By the master of eye. While everyone was going around doing their own thing, no one suspected the lone tree and the grassy pain odd. Okay. That lone tree was the world tree that has been here since the start of the world. You know, that's weird because I don't remember this being at the start of the world. The world tree has been growing all this time. Oh, that's why I didn't remember it. It was a small tree. And it will continue to grow. Maybe the growth of the world tree will bring back that one race that left hundreds of years ago. Well, it looks like it didn't <laughs> continue to grow at all. I don't know why the world tree growing would bring back the race that left hundreds of years ago, but maybe miracles do happen. It looks like it's hollow on the inside. I don't remember what this was. Oh, bookshelves from the world tree. I guess maybe this was the Master of Eyes base. Another person I barely remember. I remember the name, but I don't really remember like what they were like or anything, or if they or when they left, when they came on. Looks like they were doing all right. They got diamond gear. Nether portal. Okay, looks like that was nothing. Yeah, I don't remember our nether being anything too special. I might just leave. I don't think anything cool was built in the nether. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Yeah, I think the nether just remained a barren wasteland. Oh. I guess this takes us back to the bake shop. Okay. I think uh, that was... Ashwazanaiha City Storage. Wow, the whole city storage is right here. Surprisingly small amount of chests for an entire city storage, but uh, I don't know who built this. I don't know who did it. There's cobblestone here. Strange. I wonder if my nether portal had anything cool. Did I do anything? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I think this is just... We just went here to mine quartz when we needed... Dang, we left a lot of it. Maybe we didn't come here to mine quartz when we needed levels. Uh, well... You would, you would think that... I think like the max number of players we had on the server at one time was like 13 or something. It was, it was a pretty crazy number for like a small server that started with four people. Like it was, we were extremely proud of this. So uh, after uh, Zach came on and, and was the Pope, we had a bunch more people show up. Oh, is this a skeleton spawner? No, a zombie. This is a zombie farm right here. Ooh, 
another barrier we forgot to get rid of. So this is someone's zombie farm. Okay, after uh, Zach uh, came and was the Pope, we, we started getting a lot more people from our school, as well as people from elsewhere, to join the server. I think this is just a mine. I'm not going to bother exploring this too much. And yeah, like I said, like 13 people at one time, I think. I don't know if anyone anyone from the server might see the name of this video and watch. But if so, maybe you could correct me on that. On what the max number of players at one time was. I know it was, it was a lot more than I ever thought it would ever get to. I remember that as the player count grew, though... The server started lagging a whole bunch because there were just so many people loading a bunch of chunks from everywhere. And uh, eventually, I decided to switch the server over to, I think it was MC Pro Hosting. So we were using a free, I think it was Adernos. We were using a free server hoster and then we switched to a paid one and everyone was like celebrating <laughs> when we finally had a paid server. That was able to run a lot better. It was very nice. It was like... I think that was probably the best point of the server. was right there. When we had the new paid server, everyone was just kind of chilling. I'm adjusting in my chair for a second. I'm sorry. Audio is awesome. But that was like the best moment. Everyone was like really passionate everyone was happy there were, it didn't seem like there was really any drama between people it was just kind of a we have this really cool thing and I'm, I'm glad we're able to because this was right when covid started i think this was back when we were ignorant or not ignorant not ignorant uh naive and thought it would be over in like a couple months <laughs> ridiculous right and this was just kind of a, a place to escape to during the the first moments of the outbreak. It was, it was a really nice time, honestly. You know, minus the COVID, but... It was nice being able to provide something like that for people at that time. Oh. This building was so looted, the chest was gone. No one ever used these. So I think this was made by Brandon. Actually, I'm certain. This was made by Brandon. He... This is a really cool build. Just already, without even seeing what's on top. This is a really cool build. I know he mentioned Hermitcraft at some point. So I think maybe he was he might have been like a, trying to go for one of those large-scale builds sort of things that you see on there. How do you get up here? I don't want to fly up if I don't have to. I'd like to see the entrance. Okay, maybe maybe there just isn't one. Oh. Spawn proof the area with a bunch of torches. Back when you needed torches this this close together to spawn proof an area. Um, yeah, I don't know if there is actually a way up right now. I know the build wasn't finished, so that might just be the case. We had a light trip by the time you started this, so probably just flew up here every time. This was going to be a city, I think. And unfortunately, just, you know, obviously a build of this scale is going to take a while, and the server's lifespan just didn't last that long. Yep, this was Brandon. <laughs> ah. This was also fairly late into the server's life, I think. So yeah, not very much time. But considering how much time he had, this is incredible. Even without considering any time at all. This is a pretty cool build. Just an awesome little sky base.
just with this really cool like design for the bottom too. But look at all the mobs it created. I mean, with all these torches here, that's definitely going to be like the hot spot. You know what? I'm going to effect clear myself. So I, this is without night vision anymore. There we go. Yep, that's what it looks like. So eventually, though, after we had all those players, eventually people just started getting bored. And, like, that makes sense. You can't just play the same game forever. And the player count went down. And in an attempt to give people an incentive to come back or just, you know, make it interesting again, that's when Brandon decided to add the custom enchants. And I know there was quite a bit of drama around that because of just, like, how powerful some of them were. Honestly, I don't think it was his fault. I know he blames himself, but just in case you're watching, man, don't don't worry. It was not your fault. The server was already on its way out at that point. I think people were just kind of, I don't know, attacking you for no reason. I don't think there was any actual attacks like like that. It's just people were like blaming the custom enchants for making the server's uh, fun go down. I don't think that's what happened, though. But after the custom enchants thing, he added another thing in an attempt to make it fun again. And I think the second thing that was added was elves and dwarves. Now, you may have noticed that I have jump boost and speed even after effect clearing, and then they just keep coming back. The effects keep coming back. So I am an elf. I don't know if it appears in chat. Yeah, I think that because my name is green, I think that means I'm an elf. And, be, and the, the perks of being an elf is constant jump boost and speed. And the dwarves, I think, got uh, strength and haste. I don't know where they are, but I'm pretty sure we had some bases. I'm gonna fly a little bit because I want to show I want to show everything off that I can I think somewhere we had bases built by the, the elves and the dwarves like we had just like an elf base and a dwarf base but I have no idea where that would be I don't know what direction it would be in Yeah, I probably I probably would have seen it by now. That's a real shame. There there were some cool builds. Anyway, I guess I'll just head back over here to the airport. Now th this airport is actually functional, if you can believe that. And this is the third thing I think that we did to try to bring people back. We added different districts. We have the Ashwagandha district, the Medieval district, and the Wild West district. And then there's a teleportation hub and then two locked areas with different capitalization for some reason. So this is the map of this area. So cool. And if we go through here, we can go onto the plane and this will take us to the teleportation hub. We thought maybe what people wanted was a restart of the entire world. So like getting new resources, starting fresh with a new area. So the Ashwagandha district is the one that we were just at. It's where we started and that's why it got the name Ashwagandha. And then there's the medieval district and we were going to have a bunch of different districts assuming that this all like worked out as you can see it didn't but it was it was an attempt and it was I think it was a pretty cool little district over here so our plane magically turned into a prop plane a wooden uh, prop plane during the flight uh, I don't know if that happens a lot but it happened anyway and this is the medieval district please put the lapis back when you're done thanks 
they put a chest plate back. Of course. Uh, this is a message board. I agree with this one. I don't know who wrote that, but I, I want to be their friend. We should use gold nugget. So one is what currency we should use, and one is we should just kill everybody. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Brandon's Barter Shop. Deals change when I feel like it, so look out! Alright, I'm ready to duck. Take an item in place and leave the payment in its place. Uh, five gold for one stack of steak and leather. Wow. Yeah, I, I guess I guess that's fair. A bit cheap, too. Shopping zone. Make shops here. So we have to make shops here. I th thought that was going to be a thing. Is it secretly? No. Um, I guess I'll come back to the castle. So this is, oh wait, no, this is the residential. Are there no shops? <laughs> so this is the shopping zone and then the, res the residential zone. I'd love to talk, you know, I'd love to say words. I'd like to put letters together and syllables and stuff and like make you know noises that make sense but I just kind of want to make noises that's kind of my favorite part so this is the residential zone it's right next to there I don't know if there are any shops yeah this is this is a house so I guess yeah it's just there was this this is the shop and what's this the outside of this building looks too good to have been made by me All right, I guess that's just another mystery. It's a cool tower thing. Okay, oh, there's a building over here. You know, this is a residential zone, or like the residential zone's over there. So this might actually be breaking the rules. Yeah, this is breaking the rules. Uh, I'm gonna have to destroy this place uh, before I quit out of the server here. Ooh, pretty good chest plate. Don't know what the noob pillar is doing here, but you know what? It's just cool. What is that? I do not remember that one. I don't remember that building at all. Like all these I remember, I remember all these like cool looking spires, whatever, whatever these sorts of tower things are called. I don't remember whatever that is. That's exciting. Got a smithing table before smithing tables actually did anything. Yeah, there's no netherite. We didn't have netherite, so everyone with diamond gear is actually doing the best they possibly could. I'm cool. I mean, this sword's actually pretty bad, but... Oh. This sign has NBT data. Secret sign! Wow. I left a secret for myself. Yep. Just, just buildings, you know? They're just here to be buildings. Pretty sure... Oh, I did not mean to do that, I'm sorry. Pretty sure Owen made this. Yeah, if I hold the sword, it doesn't break anything. But again, I don't want to miscredit. So maybe it wasn't Owen, but I'm pretty sure it was Owen. Uh-oh. My computer's running low on storage space. I guess I better hurry this up. So there's just uh, more buildings over here. Future stables. Owen was going to build stables here. Yeah, pretty sure this is all Owen. He was one of the last people on the server. This is, we're, we're nearing the end of the server's life, being out over here. Wow. Was this made in survival? Okay, I'm gonna break my rule. What is this? Looks like nothing. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just kind of a glowstone room. Bro. I was not expecting a super cool, like, fortress out here. Like, there's the castle that I built over there. I was expecting that one, but... Dang. That was probably made in all survival mode, too. Unlike this. This was, like, 80% survival, but I did some finishing touches and creative. Because near the end of the server's life, I just kind of said, screw it. I just wanted to finish this up and make it as cool as possible. I didn't finish it, but I did make it something I'm pretty proud of. Got some... I'll go to the entrance here. A lot of chests out here from when I was actually still using survival. I had to smelt a bunch of stone in here. I don't think I, have, I ever had a silk touch pick, so I had to smelt all the stone. Cool, like, dining hall over here. Well, whatever. My, my builds aren't really what I'm looking for here. I remember those. I'm looking for stuff like that, that I just, I don't remember. And somebody else built and put a bunch of time in. Alright, so... Yep, that was that was the end of the... of my storage space about there. I really need to free this up, so I'm just gonna say thank you for watching. And uh, if anyone from the server wants me to take this down for any reason, just let me know, I'll do it. No questions asked. This is just something I wanted to do for nostalgia reasons. Alright, goodbye everyone.